Welcome to Sheet Director. We're excited to introduce our innovative Google Workspace add-on. Simplify data exchange between apps with Sheet Director, query data, post info from Sheets to apps, and keep everything in sync. In this video, we will see how Sheet Director can help you to automate the integration between Google Sheets and Salesforce. Let's launch Sheet Director and choose Salesforce from the available list of applications. Now we need to authorize Salesforce application. First, let's try to query the data from Salesforce. I will create a service and name Salesforce Query Service. I'll then choose the service type query, which gets the data of selected objects from Salesforce. I'll choose account object. and then select the required fields from the fields list. We can also apply the filters by choosing the required conditions. For now, I am not applying any filters. We also have a sort by option, I want to sort the results by name in ascending order. So I will select full name as the field and ascending as the operator. Additionally, I'll also set the max results to 25, limiting the accounts to 25. For the destination settings, I'll select the Query Accounts Sheet tab to present all the values from Salesforce. By default, it begins from cell A1. Also, we have the option to create a new sheet by clicking on the plus icon. And turn on or off the Include Header and Clear Sheet before getting the events. I will proceed to execute by clicking on the Execute button. Upon successful execution, we can see that the selected fields from the list are effectively brought from the Salesforce and seamlessly presented within the selected sheet. Now, let's look at how to create Salesforce account from Google Sheets. Now, let's make another service and name as Salesforce Post Service. I will choose the Post Service type. Then I will select a specific entity from the list. At this point, I have the choice to use an existing template or set up the process manually. For now, I'll opt for the template. Applying the template will automatically populate sample data to the spreadsheet, and it will establish automatic mapping using the template. This mapping guides us on where to place the resulting information in the status and result columns. In the sheet, you'll notice columns labeled status and result. These fields will provide you with the status of the posted records. If these fields are not there, these can be easily created by clicking on the plus button or choosing from the column drop-down. The mapping aligns the fields between the sheet and the Salesforce. We can manually map by using the column drop-down. To create a new mapping you can simply click on the plus icon. Deleting a field mapping is as easy as clicking the delete icon above each mapped field, except for mandatory fields. Feel free to use this sample template data and make any necessary updates. Now, I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Initially, the status in the status column will indicate ready to post. Upon execution, the execution control panel will appear and tell us how many records are ready to post in the Salesforce. At this point, we have two options, post now and close. I will click on post now, which will create the accounts in Salesforce. After successful execution, each record will be updated individually in the status and result columns. You can also view posted records in Salesforce. Now let's have a look at how to synchronize the data between Salesforce and Google Sheets. Prepare a new service named Salesforce Sync Service. This synchronizes the accounts between Google Sheets and Salesforce. I'll choose Synchronize as a service type. This service allows users to automatically synchronize the data between Google Sheets and Salesforce. I'll choose the account object from the list and then select the necessary fields from the provided fields list. Also, we can apply filters to synchronize records. For now, I will skip the filters. To ensure efficiency, I'll set the max results to 25, restricting to only 25 Salesforce accounts. 
The synchronization process requires that synchronized keys to match rows in Google Sheets with corresponding data in Salesforce. You must select the synchronized keys in the fields list. It is essential to note that these keys are mandatory for the synchronization to occur. When there is a conflict between Google Sheets and Salesforce for the same data, it's important to overwrite one side to keep the data synchronized. In this case, you can opt for either Salesforce wins or Google Sheet wins to choose which data to keep. In the Salesforce wins scenario, the most recent data from Salesforce will overwrite and update the corresponding account in Google Sheets. On the other hand in the Google Sheet wins, the most recent data from Google Sheets will overwrite and update the corresponding data in Salesforce. First, let me choose Google Sheet wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Sync Accounts Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the service, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. The Execution Control Panel will appear. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the accounts for us. A prompt will appear, posing the question, Your Google Sheet seems to be empty. Do you want to get the records from Salesforce first? At this point, two options will be presented, Get Now or Close. You have to select the Get Now option, which will fetch the accounts from Salesforce. As mapping is supported at Sync Service, mapping aligns the fields between the synchronization sheet and the Salesforce. So now as it's asking for intelligent mapping, I will select Yes. So it will automatically map both app fields and sheet fields. We can also manually map by using the column dropdown. To create a new mapping you can simply click on the plus icon. If you already have Salesforce data in Google Sheets, then you need to select or establish columns to display synchronization status and results. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet and make any necessary updates to update the accounts. For some of the accounts I will update, the billing city value to Bangalore. Subsequently, I will click the execute button. Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear with synchronization details. Number of new records found in Salesforce. Total records that are ready to synchronize from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated in the Salesforce from the total records? Additionally, I will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? This query is accompanied by two buttons, Sync Now and Close. I will opt for the Sync Now button. Throughout the execution process, each record will be updated individually within the Salesforce. Upon successful update, the status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the data. Newly updated data will be marked as Sync successfully, while pre-existing data will be indicated as Already Synchronized. You can see this updated billing city value of account in Salesforce. Now, let me choose Salesforce wins. With the Salesforce wins option, recent data of Salesforce will be updated in Google Sheets. I will clear both the status and result column values to get new updates of records. To test this, I will change the billing city value of one of the accounts to Chennai. Now it should update the recent value from Salesforce. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will keep the same Sync Accounts Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. After executing, the Execution Control Panel will appear and show all the information regarding the update. I will again click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. Throughout the successful execution process, each record will be updated individually. We can notice that the value on Google Sheets is replaced by the recent values from Salesforce irrespective of the update made on the Google Sheets. Also, the new accounts will be fetched from the Salesforce. Until this point, we observed the synchronization of Salesforce accounts originating from cell A1. Now, let's modify the cell value to G6. Select another empty sheet for testing and proceed with the synchronization process. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the sheet director will get the accounts for us. I will click the Get Now button to get the Salesforce accounts. If you already have Salesforce accounts data in Google Sheets, then you need to establish the status and result column for synchronization. 
Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear with the synchronization details. I will click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. After successful synchronization, you can see the status of each record individually in the Google Sheets. In this way, you can synchronize data from any part of your Google Sheets. Hence, utilizing Sheet Director makes it easy to query Salesforce account information and display it in Google Sheets. Creating new Salesforce accounts from Google Sheets, and finally keeping the information synchronized between the Google Sheets and Salesforce accounts. With Sheet Director, you effortlessly harness the magic of Salesforce accounts. Seamlessly query, display, and transform your Salesforce account data right within Google Sheets. Experience the future of organization and data synergy with the Sheet Director. Thanks for watching the video.